I think it's true in marriage, but it's also true in recovery that there are times when we will try and go to old wells for new water. And then we'll wonder why we're frustrated that the water isn't there, or we're still getting the same water that we were getting before. And it's especially true when we venture out into recovery early on, trying to heal from something as gut-wrenching and as excruciating as infidelity is not going to be addressed using old ways of communication, old patterns of conflict resolution, old patterns of trying to pacify your spouse or hoping that they will just get over it. That's going to an old well expecting new water, and I assure you, seldom does it ever work. For the couple that kind of launches out into recovery, I see this happen all the time. There'll be this really heightened emotional state, and then one spouse will try and use a technique that they tried to use back in the day that seemed successful or seemed productive, which may mean like raising your voice, getting angry, and kind of intimidating the weaker spouse, and at that point, the weaker spouse kind of shuts down, stuffs it down, and for the time being, there's this sense of peace. When you start off into recovery from infidelity or addiction, and you try something like that, depending on how far you are into the process, it typically will backfire, and it will actually blow up exponentially more uh, emotionally and destructively than before because you're trying to address this new trauma, this new pain with this old way of doing things, and one spouse is typically not going to have it. And it actually can eventually cause more damage and more pain because you're going to an old well that really may have been the well or one of the wells that helped create the situation that you're in. And if you constantly go back there, and let me say right now, if you're an unfaithful spouse, and if you think that the well of maybe shutting down, right, when your spouse would get angry, you would kind of shut down, not talk about it. We call that turtling up. You just kind of turtle up, wait for the time to pass, hope that the anger subsides or the disapproval subsides, and, and you kind of would turtle up and wait till everything got better and then you would come out of your shell again. Typically when you try that, hence an old well in recovery, that's going to actually make things worse because you're using an old well that's going to backfire in your face because it is no match for the trauma, the pain, the agony of the situation that you're dealing with right now. Now these old wells are pretty widely available. I mean, there's the old well of laziness, and there's the old well of we don't need to get expert third-party help, and there's the old well of just this kind of stubbornness, refusal to get help, this just sit back, he or she will get over it and we can move on. It's these old wells that we try to use that I assure you will leave you very frustrated and it will exacerbate the pain and the hurt that you both are in. And it's really just easy though to go to these old wells because trying to dig a well is painful. Trying to dig a well with your bare hands while you're in pain, while you're in agony, while you're crying, while you're grieving, trying to dig a new well, man, it's painful. It's exhausting. It's expensive. But I assure you, if you're willing to make the sacrifice to dig a new well, there's new water there for your marriage. There's new water there for your own recovery. But if you want that new water, you have to dig that new well. And if you're going to dig that new well, you're going to have to dig, but you're going to have to claw. And you're going to have to really go through some tough ground to get to the water. But I assure you, it is absolutely worth it. Because if you're not willing to do the work, then quite honestly, you're not going to experience the beautiful wonderful new water that is available for you and possibly available for your marriage. So inevitably you might say, well, 
How do you dig a new well? And that's where it's so important to get the right help. Now, I'll get real personal with you. Not too long ago, Samantha and I hit a real difficult point communicatively. I've never promised to be perfect starting these video blogs with such a flawed past was very difficult to do and I, I'm never going to pretend like I'm perfect. So not too long ago, we just hit a difficult point communicatively with three kids and one about to go to college, uh, a lot of just difficult uh, health issues that were exacerbating things to a number of issues that just caused a perfect storm. Both of us investigating some childhood trauma in our past we hit this point where we were really communicating in a difficult way and we needed a new well. And so Samantha and I talked with Rick a couple times and Rick taught us something that really has helped in terms of digging a new well communicatively. And I'll tell you it was, it was marriage changing because it helped me understand that I was making a lot of assumptions in my communication, as was Samantha, and it taught me, and it required a lot of work, emotionally, verbally, and quite honestly, uh, in a very humble way, of trying to dig a new well to get at Samantha's heart in such a way that didn't produce defensiveness, or irritability, or just anger. And it absolutely has transformed our marriage. But it's a new well. And it was tough. And it was difficult. And you have to magnify that times about a thousand uh, times to meet you where you're at early on in recovery or maybe even a few years down the road in recovery trying to heal from one of the most devastating experiences that you can go through. But I just want to tell you very humbly, I want to just appeal to your heart. Don't try and use old wells to dig up new water that your marriage or your relationship or even yourself needs. It's not going to be there. You're going to have to dig a new well and that new well is going to change your life but it's going to require sacrifice, diligence, it's going to require everything inside of you. You're not going to be able to kind of phone it in or just kind of halfway it. You're going to have to go all in but I promise you if you will that well will change your life.